Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Dreaded Day Rose report. Something we've been wondering for a long time. What is the problem with uh, Bruno San Martino and Vince McMahon? It's not the WWE. I guess. Well, yeah, it partly is. But I found this um, interview, and this may answer a lot of the questions. So if you want to bear with me, I'll get to the news right after. I want to get all this in here. But uh, they ask him about memories of WrestleMania 1. Well, believe it or not, he was on it. Uh, I think it was really was his son, but anyway, he says, uh, that was his question. Well, anyway, he said, when uh, McMahon uh, contacted me after Vince Sr. died, he asked me if I would come back, you know, saying that uh, he wanted to carry on his father's tradition, and uh, who better to do that uh, than, uh, you know, with me, because I'd been there so, for so many years. He said, I agreed to do so and said, I do broadcasting once every three weeks. Well, everything turned out to be not true. Uh, he did not keep his father's tradition, and he made uh, changes that I personally didn't care for. I saw the disgusting steroid and drug use that bothered me tremendously, so things started going bad for me in that relationship. And uh, as well as for WrestleMania, I had no idea how big it would be, said I was there as a, as a second with the, you know his son in the ring he said I was so unhappy at the time I just wanted to get away from there feel, kind of feel sorry for the guy but he's old school and will always be that way uh, the other thing he uh, was asked changes in the wrestling business he didn't like well he kind of spits the head out too not that we uh, uh, had girl wrestlers they brought them in in Skippy they were, he didn't like that skimpy. The wrestling, uh, they started getting uh, uh, more vulgar and profanity and language. Everything changed. Triple H having sex with the corp corpse of the casket. Says you can't imagine what that does to someone who, uh, you know, has been in the wrestling business for 25 years and see things like that. To see Steve Austin, a champion, he and a can of beer in his hand, uh, they had to uh, bleep every word that he was saying and there were little kids in the audience, he said, it just appalled me. And he said, thoughts on Hogan. <laughs> he said, people get fooled by publicity. He said, Hogan wasn't a good champion at all. In 1985, Hogan had been a champion for a year and a half. Vince asked me to put on the tights because uh, the house shows were down, the attendance. Said uh, uh, he would uh, do a good house show for the first time but if uh, uh, he came back in, uh, back the second or dared the third time, he couldn't. Uh, he just couldn't draw. Talking about Hogan, uh, he wasn't a great performer. Uh, he did not uh, work, and he would use uh, him for just the merchandise sales at the pay-per-view events. And he was just not a good champion like previous people. Uh, Vince pretty much used Hogan, and Hogan used Vince. They've all made a over the money off of him or off of each other. All right, and then there was a backstage incident with Ric Flair in uh, 2004. Don't know why he was there in 2004, but anyway, he said, Flair's an idiot. He said, a first class pathetic idiot. He wrote a book and said something that, uh, you know, wasn't very complimentary about me. He said, I haven't read it, so I really don't know, but, uh, <clears throat> so I'm standing there in the hallway at the, at the show talking to, you know, two or three people and my back was turned to him. And when I turned around, he saw me. I started walking towards him to say hello, and he turned around and ran away. Later, he told me, uh, told uh, one of the uh, Hebner brothers that he just wanted to come by and say hello to me, but I turned my back on him and uh, ignored him, which is a complete bold class lie. Why he's not in the Hall of Fame? All right, that's the question. It says. I am in the Hall of Fame. It's the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. Only wrestlers get inducted there, and uh, when you talk to the McMahon's Hall of Fame, I absolutely wouldn't have any part of it because of my feelings for him and his company. Ooh, you mentioned the company this time. Uh, before, he's talked Triple H, he's a great guy, you know. But anyway, secondly, he said it's not a legitimate Hall of Fame. When you have kids and uh, you want to go see the building, uh, there's nowhere to go. It's just a marketing campaign, and uh, look who's in it. Game show host Drew Carey, baseball players, football players. I'm embarrassed to be in the Hall of Fame. 
Uh, or he said, I would be embarrassed. But anyway, then he uh, was asked, what would he do if he was inducted into the Hall of Fame after he died? Well, I don't know the law, he says. That's something an attorney uh, would have to uh, tell me. I don't know what the law is, and that's a good question, he says. I'm glad you asked me because I'm going to go back and ask my attorney about that. Boy, he's, when he puts his foot down, He's done. So that kind of lets us know what the deal is. And uh, Chris Jericho, by the way, his uh, band Fozzie is going to be uh, performing at the Vernon Club, Louisville, Kentucky, if you're around that way, September 6th. Tickets go on sale July 21st. Uh, former WWE stars Coco Beware, Savannah Grandier, uh, Tatanka is going to be appearing at World Class uh, at the World Wrestling on Saturday at La Beach. La Pointe, see, Quebec, Canada, anyway. I'm not sure I too much. Anyway, there's additional information on there. Just Google it. Maybe you can pronounce it. Former WCW uh, talent Marcus Bagwell, or Buff Bagwell, he was apprehended by the Georgia uh, law enforcement on Monday and charged with reckless driving, and according to the official website of the Georgia Department of Corrections, uh, the 42-year-old wrestler was taken into custody at the Cherokee County uh, Sheriff's Office and then released on bond. Bagwell was largely, uh, uh, has been largely recovered, I guess, from his injuries suffered in a serious car accident April 23rd while traveling in Cherokee County, Georgia. I uh, don't know whether there was alcohol or whatever, if he was inebriated then or not. Come on, Buff. Get together. All right, now there's also an official um, WWE website report that Dolph Ziggler, Zack Ryder, and in-ring announcer Justin Roberts were involved in a car accident just outside of uh, downtown San Diego, California, Friday afternoon shortly after 5 p.m. Uh, the three performers, they were traveling in a limo, looked like a big old uh, uh, Lincoln, which uh, was rear-ended as they were transported from the Comic-Con. Uh, International uh, Comic Con International at the San Diego Convention Center. All three individuals were reportedly evaluated and paramedics shortly after the incident. No serious in injuries uh, have been reported to this time, anyway. Uh, might be a little sore, you never know. Whenever you're, ex you're expecting a bump in the ring, you get it. If you're not expecting it, sometimes it hurts. Mick Foley uh, had high praise for uh, the World Heavyweight Champion Sheamus after last night's WWE SmackDown. He said, man, Sheamus really thrives on intense punishment matches. Uh, his stuff uh, frequently makes me wince in a good way. Locker room leader, too. WWE sources uh, report that uh, they're going to be hiring some top women wrestler. Well, they, they confirmed they're hiring uh, Sarah Del Rey. Del Rey. Uh, is their answer to the problem of employing swimsuit models who end up getting frustrated and leaving, such as the Bella Twins, Maurice, Maxine, Kelly Kelly, as noted before, uh, it's the belief that Del Rey will also help train the Divas. Former TNA wrestler, this is kind of odd, uh, Angel Williams, or Angelina Love, worked this week on uh, the next Dark Rising project. It's an independent Canadian horror, uh, you know, comedy film uh, that she starred in. She also uh, talks about her excitement, you know, for the future on Twitter. That even more good news, exciting projects coming. Stay tuned. Uh, Sarita, she's also uh, hadn't appeared on TNA, you know, since I think around April. She competed in Mexico as Dark Angel, though. Uh, reports that uh, published photos of her match which saw her uh, and a couple other girls defeat Lady Apache. Uh, it was a tag team match. Uh, more female talent within WWE ranks of uh, Major League Wrestling could be in the works as two unnamed women wrestlers are rumored to have uh, requested their release from TNA wrestling this week. Well, the official tweet <clears throat> feed of a female independent wrestler promotion, uh, uh, Women Superstars Uncensored, wrote this afternoon, hearing rumors about two knockouts asked for their release today. I wonder who. Anyway, the account added, getting calls from pe uh, people at TNA tonight. A lot of contracts are expiring. TNA wants to put them on a pay-per-deal basis and kill the weekly contracts for some. 
Sorry about that. Haven't uh, watched TNA since January two, 2010. The people uh, who do, uh, if you don't see someone uh, on Impact tonight, keep it in the back of your head. Maybe they've gone. Asked for their release. Birthday. Happy birthday to tag team uh, legend Bubba Ray Dudley, or Bully Ray, and former ECW WWE announcer uh, uh, Joey Styles. Both of them 41 years old. They look a lot different, don't they? For being the same age. And uh, I think uh, I think I've found all the news I can find. Hey, thanks for if there's anything exciting goes on, anything out of this world, uh, I'll be back on here later. But otherwise, thanks for clicking, you guys. Have a good Sunday. I gotta go.